Hey guys, Jonah here, back with a beer review, back with a bargain beer review, one that I picked up in uh, Tesco's the other day, and um, I'm pretty sure this was a pound off, so it was under two quid, it was like one pound, one ninety or something like that, but when you see what it is, it's a, it's a banger, um, and I thought I might have had this one before, but I've got one of these bad boys, um, Divine Faith, it's a double IPA. Look, there's the Angel of the North. It's 8%, uh, and this apparently, it's Northern Monk, obviously, um, it's apparently part of their Twist Edition. But I thought I'd had this one last year, um, and I think, if I'm right, it was a different ABV, so maybe this is a beer that they launch every year. Um, it says Juicy Liquid Gold. And if we turn it around even more, uh, Divine Faith Double IPA, our flagship hazy pale ale, dialed up to divine levels as a double. Um, and this was brewed by Brethren number two. So that's pretty good. Uh, if I can find out who number one is, that would be cool. I guess that's the guy that owns or is the master brewer, um, Northern uh, Brewer. Anyway, it's got some uh, Citra Eldorado mosaic in there. Uh, and then it says all the stuff about Aop, hey, we're from up north, you bastard, and all that kind of stuff. Not being funny, Leeds isn't that far up north. Like some of my family come from Northumberland or Northumbria, we should say. And um, that's proper up north, mate. <laughs> Leeds, nah, you're not up, you're southerners to me. Um, no, I'm only kidding. Um, yeah, it's a divine faith for under two quid, I believe. It's not often you can get an 8% beer for under two quid. So let's see what we get. It might be some proper wrong and, and that's why it was reduced, but I don't care because I like a bargain. <laughs> and if that doesn't say I'm a northerner kind of, what does, you know? Anywho, let's see what we get. Right, and because it's got so much hops in it and hop oil in it, there's not much head. Although there's a bit of head forming now. My God, though, look at that. That is a proper milkshake beer. My God. Right. <laughs> you know. You can't see anything through there, man. Absolutely ridiculous. Over a finger's head. Uh, not quite too. Wouldn't fit it in the glass otherwise. Let us do one of these things. Get that round the right way. Get that in shot. Do a silly face. And we'll try and get that up on the front of the video. So, yeah, this is going to be pretty good. So what did it say? Uh, Juicy gold. And I think, oh yeah, I should have probably looked there over on this side. I'm getting used to these Northern Brewer type cans. Uh, water, barley, wheat, oats, hops and yeast. So it's got wheat and oats in it, which is a good sign for a hazy beer. And I think that's probably why it is so hazy. I mean, Jesus Christ, that, that is like a proper milkshake. Will I finish this on camera? Don't know. It is an 8% beer. But whatever you guys are up to, cheers and beers from Uncle Jono. Oh, I should probably take this uh, this time to say, if you haven't done so already, click like, click subscribe, flick my bell, um, all those kind of things that appeases the, uh, the metrics of YouTube. And uh, yeah, Jesus, they need a bit of help at the moment. <laughs> cheers, guys. I think I forgot to do, yeah, I forgot to do the aroma test first. Anyway, never mind. It's not going to make much of a difference. Really smooth, really creamy, which is um, going to be the oats and the wheat at work there, which I always like because it kind of takes the edge off. Some beers, like the one I had yesterday, really, really overly bitter. Whereas when you put some wheat and some oats in, just kind of gives it that creamy kind of
kind of takes the edge off a little bit. But that being said, although there's shed loads of hops in here, I bet you they're all quite late on. They're not bittering hops. They're hops for flavour and aroma. So they'll probably put in really late, maybe even in the whirlpool. And I think, yeah, judging from it, not much in the bitter. It might have even been a half hour boil instead of a full hour or um, 90 minutes, which some people used to do. The alcohol is coming through. There are some green, green kind of shoots in there as well. Did they say Citra? Because that's what I'm kind of getting, that green. Yeah, Citra El Dorado Mosaic. That's weird. I'm not getting a huge amount of tropicalness here. Um, I'm getting kind of, yeah, juicy orange, juicy mandarin kind of vibes going on here. Maybe a little bit of tropicalness on the nose, which I probably should have done first. But then you get the green kind of verdant thing. And I wouldn't call this dank by any means. So if you love that dank stuff, this is not the beer for you. But it is there at the tail end, right, right at the end. Oh, let's do it properly. Okay, so yeah, juice, I'm getting orange. Maybe a touch of pineapple. Maybe that's the mosaic kind of tropicaliness. But yeah, it's this weird orangey kind of thing going on. Um, doesn't look like an orange juice, but maybe it could be. Um, and then that greenness comes through at the end. Yeah, it's interesting. But all the, all the flavours are really muted. It's quite bizarre. This has been in the fridge for a while, but yeah, I'm definitely getting some muted kind of tones there. It's not a real bad boy. And, and although the alcohol is definitely there, it's hidden very well. At 8%, my goodness, you could really get in trouble with this bad boy. Does it give some tasting notes? Maybe I should have read that in a bit more detail nearer the beginning. Uh, let's have a look. Not really. It just gives some generic kind of family, Ayop, we're from up north, etc. etc. Interesting. It's always it's always interesting because as we know, faith. Is their normal IPA so divine faith they've opted to do their double IPA um, and I have definitely had their faith beer before and it did not taste like this so I wonder if they're using slightly different hops in here hmm I was just thinking is it worthwhile having a look yeah I don't know at the faith I'll probably distract myself from doing the video and I shouldn't do that. Focus, Jonna, damn you. Oh, that is a lovely, lovely beer though. It is quite unique. And I'm getting a little bit of sweetness too. So, the hops is balanced, although the hop oils are balanced against the sweetness. But my lips are sticking together a little bit. But that's also balanced really nicely against the alcohol. This is an 8% beer. And it does not taste like that at all. Um, so if you like, and they said it was a juicy IPA. I don't think it is really. If you like kind of orange flavours like mandarin, satsuma, um, those type of things. Perhaps some other fruits, um, tropical type fruits that are juicy. Yeah. <sighs> wow, this could be the beer for you. And 8%. Shh. 
shamold. That's all I can say. <laughs> we are getting, I know I swirled the, the glass a bit, but we are getting quite a good amount of nice kind of lacing. I shouldn't do that on beers that I know have got oats and yeast in, uh, oats and wheat in. Um, yeah, definitely sticking to the side of the glass, which is always a good sign. <coughs> anyway, I am think I'm going to fit. Oh, sod it, I'll just drink it. I was going to say I'll, I'll sink it later on, but no. Whoa. When you get the chance and you're having a nice beer where the alcohol is hidden, you might as well drink it and worry about everything later on. I'm sitting in my own house. I don't have to drive anywhere. Sod it. That's what I'm going to say. Anyway, guys, this has been Uncle Jonah. If you can find this beer, and for those of you that are in the UK and watch my videos, try and go down to Tesco's and see if they're an offer in yours as well as mine. Dun, dun, dun. Divine faith. Twist edition of Doomers. I like that. The, the gold can does have a nice kind of from the pylons why the fuck would you put pylons in lovely fields do you like pylons I remember i went up to um nottingham a few years ago actually i was well i was on the way back from scotland so i'd driven up there and i was driving back and there were fucking pylons everywhere dude and what's happened now the electricity companies have put loads of price on the electricity and guess what we're having electric cars now and the price of electricity has gone up through the roof. Nice. It was almost as though someone had planned it that way. Hmm. If I win the lottery, I'm going to buy a wind turbine, maybe a water wheel, that would be cool, um, and some solar panels. And then all the electricity companies can buy the electricity off me. Fuck you. Um, <laughs> sorry guys, I'm off on a bit of a rant, but that's what necking an 8% beer in 12 minutes will do to you. It'll make you think about weird things. Guys, while we're thinking about strange things and all that kind of jazz, why don't you spend a little bit of time surfing my back catalogue of beers? I'm, I'm getting really close to a thousand reviews or a thousand documented reviews anyway and definitely connect with me on untapped um and uh yeah i'm definitely well over a thousand on there heading for two thousand shove on and yes i'm feeling the alcoholic effect <laughs> of drinking that beer really quickly so i'm gonna probably gibber out and sit in a darkened room and try to no probably i'm gonna have some more beers <laughs> see you tomorrow guys Oh, hang on. I haven't clicked on the right thing. Jesus Christ. What's going on? I'll see you tomorrow.